Welcome back. I created the Rubber Thunderbird uh, in 1997. We used to have an, a last day of school that was just so boring and yucky and kids hated coming because teachers were asking them to do cleaning and picking up around the room and so it was just this negative feel on the last day of school and I went to our principal along with another colleague who doesn't teach here anymore and we approached our principal, who at that time was Mr. Rochford, and said, why don't we do something fun on the last day of school? And he said, what's your idea? And we said, well, what if we took the idea of the rubber chicken, just like Ferris and LC have, and what if we turned it into a seventh versus eighth grade competition, and instead of the rubber chicken, we'll call it the rubber thunderbird, just rubber thunderbirds, and what do you think? And he said, yeah, let's do it. So, Mrs. Bingley and I put it together, and uh, the very first year, we thought, how's this gonna go? And the kids were just amazing. They had so much fun. They, it was just electric in the gym. And kids were coming up that very first year going, this was so much fun. Especially the eighth graders who lived through the previous seventh grade year, when it was so boring. This was so much fun. So, from 1997 on, uh, that's been our last day of school. One of the things that I think is so amazing is when you start thinking about the history of it. For 27 years, 7th and 8th graders have been sitting in that exact gym. That much tradition and history has held true at a school. and It's definitely true here, so it's awesome. There's no words for it. It is the most exciting. Uh, loudest experience that I've ever had. You get to be with your friends, you get to celebrate when it's great and comfort each other when it's not. The uh, Rubber Thunderbird is such a memorable con because the kids really come together as a community. Yes, it's a spirit war, but the students love to band together and and really make it something super fun for everybody. Uh, blew my mind away the first year I came to SAC. This is my third year, my uh, 15th year teaching, and I kept hearing about the Rubber Thunderbird, Rubber Thunderbird. I thought this is, it's just the last day of school, it's normal, half the kids are gonna show up, and then a couple of teachers said, oh, no way. 
And so the last day of school, I could not believe the entire school shows up and I sat in awe and watched everybody participate. Positive energy. It's so positive. Um, I always call it the best last day ever. We all come together and we are all competing. We have dance-offs and we have games and we have everything and it's incredibly fun. I like seeing people just go all in and dress up. That's my favorite. Well, just a chance to say goodbye to kids in a fun way. Like they're in a good mood, they're dressed up, they're excited. You know, it's, it's getting to remember kids kind of at their best. Well, let me just tell you about the seventh grade. Um, at honor roll, they have more kids than the eighth grade. Duh. Um, there's just simply more students. More students equals more noise. More noise equals winning. Winning is what it's all about. Now, we haven't had many seventh grade classes win in the past. However, this seventh grade class is the bomb. Plus, the eighth grade class, I don't know how to say this. Um, I'll be delicate, so immature. Um, anyway, no, I'm just kidding, it's been awesome, awesome two years with this class. However, it is time for the 7th graders to win. And I know there's only 8th graders in there right now, but here's what I want to say. I brought a theme song, I want you to listen to this carefully. Here comes the lumberjack, baby. Here it comes. 7th grade, baby! Go on! It's a good theme in general. It is life. Lumberjack is life. Outdoors is life. Okay, it's the Pacific Northwest way. You know, what is not, what makes no sense is sharks and surfing and beaches. It has nothing to do with the Northwest. It is not Spokane. It, this is Spokane. Well, I think the eighth graders are gonna win because they're fierce competitors. They've got a lot of energy, a lot of spirit. Yeah, so I, I think the 8th grader is going to take it this year, but we should probably ask my class and see what they say, if they think the 7th graders or the 8th graders are going to win. What do you think, class? 7th graders! 7th grade, seventh grade um, is passionate and they're really, really good kids, so I think they're going to band together and really do something amazing. Alright, this is going to be short and sweet. Eighth graders already know this, seventh graders you're going to find out on the last day of school. Rubber Thunderbird is the greatest end of the year celebration ever in the history of the world. Seventh graders, you're going down. Go eighth graders and go T-Birds! Uh, I think the eighth graders are going to win because they experienced it last year, they won last year. Uh, this particular class, is very, they know how to be very, very loud. Uh, but they gotta be careful because uh, I've been listening to some of my students and they're sounding a little cocky like they don't even have to try. So um, if you bring it, I think they do it great. Last year, I was on the eighth grade side and I knew the seventh graders won. I knew it, you could tell it was easy. This year, though, I'm on that side, I'm on the eighth graders. And I don't think there is any way possible that seventh graders can beat this eighth grade class. Well, in the 13 years I've been here, 8th graders won every year except two. The two years they didn't win, the 8th graders did something to lose. They were naughty and lost points. And if you lose points, there's no way to get them back. So, 8th graders, for you to be able to win this year, you just have to do exactly what you know you have to do. Ooh, this is a good 8th grade class, okay? They've got a lot of spirit. They're quite loud. I know that in my classes. Um, so they're going to blow the 7th graders out of the water. I have no doubt in my mind. Uh, pretty simple answer on this one. Uh, this class, uh, they won it last year as 7th graders. Um, and there's no way they're going to win as 7th graders and lose it, lose it uh, as 8th graders. So. I want to address the 8th graders, just for a moment, if I can. It might be more than that. I don't know if you realize the opportunity that you have in front of you this year at the Rubber Thunder. Very few 7th grade classes have won as 7th graders. It was well earned, and you guys were awesome, but there has only been three, maybe four classes in the history of Sacagawea to win Rubber Thunderbird both years. That is the opportunity that is in front of you today!
taking it up and down. The logging of California's giant redwood trees is a big job. You should know your stuff. and dangerous work, and these men take pride in their strength and courage. Honolulu, baby, where'd you get... The redwoods that grow along the coast live to be 2,000 years old. The topper will cut off the top and the tree will be rigged with cables and pulleys. You come and see what it's like Living by the rules that you write You ain't all those lavish delights Now you had no back in sight All the little lies you recite Just makes all the savage unite Usually I'm very polite But I'ma get savage tonight Even when a dog being nice Every single dog gonna bite You might think I'm wrong but I'm right Just let it get a strong appetite I'ma let it breathe just a little Give it to you strong heavy metal I don't make a sound when I strike you better just run for your life Run for your life Run for your life Run for your life Oh, it's, it's almost impossible to describe. There's nothing I can compare it to. It's a feeling that, um, you know, you know not too many people will experience. And, uh, and uh, so it's special in that sense. And then you just try to remember it. You're like, geez, I wish I could remember that or I wish I could get that again. I'm ready. Come on. Feel it coming in the and the screams from everywhere yeah. I'm addicted to the thrill It's a dangerous Stop. love affair Can't be scared when it goes down Got a problem, tell me Stop. now Only thing that's on my mind Is who gon' run this down tonight We are, yeah I said it, we are This is Rock Nation Pledge your allegiance Get your fatigue song All black, everything Black cards, black cards
Ji. Ji. 